Hi. <laughs> Here I am sitting in the house with my house kicking hope. And she's a darling sweet girl, a black ostrilope. She's about five and a half years old, completely blind. In both eyes. She came to me as a little cheeky baby and she could see then, but she always looked a little strange about the eyes and I always wondered if there was something wrong and then she ended up starting to bonk into things, so I took her to her vet. We actually have a chicken vet, if you can believe, up in Bellevue. And I took her up to Dr. Bruce in Bellevue, and he said, oh, well, your chicken's got a cataract in one eye. And I said, oh, no, is there something I can do? And he said, nothing to be done. Just put her out with the rest of the girls. And so I did, and she was fine for quite a long time. But then all of a sudden, she started losing sight in the other eye. And so I noticed that the girls, because they are um, act kind of on a hierarchy, would start to peck at her when she would not submit. But she couldn't see them to submit. So uh, she ended up having some eye injuries from that. And she did go completely blind, so she has a cataract in both eyes. And so I couldn't bear to leave her out there by herself, so I brought her in the house. So she has a little puppy pen that she lives in, and she also has a kennel. And she has chicken clothes, so she has diapers and little jackets. And she's very sweet. And she's actually even been up to Mount Rainier, if you can believe it. She's traveled all around western Washington. And uh, as you can see, she makes a great companion. Um, chickens generally aren't potty trainable, although there might be some really smart ones that are. But she's not, so I have to watch out for that. I've definitely caught a few poo caught a few poos before. Um, and she has to be told where her food is, so I've got some yogurt that she really likes as a treat. So I mean, you just have to tap it, and she finds it. And really enjoys her, her Stony Field Farms organic whole milk yogurt. She also flips it all over everything. <laughs> oh, messy chicken. But you know, it's the price you pay for having a house chicken. So she has a spot out in the chicken coop too, but I kind of wish she could stay in the house forever because I grew up with parrots and, and uh, parakeets and I loved having those guys. And you know, chickens are even better because they don't scream as loud, they don't peck as hard unless you're Mr. Sunshine, and there's so much more to love. Look at this. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Isn't that right, my sweet? So anyway, if you're going to get a house chicken, highly recommend it, but you might pick a banty or a small size chicken instead of this nice full figured black ostrich look. She's pretty big. But either way, she and I are great company for one another, and I just love having my house chicken hope. Awesome. The top rooster, but he's kind of windy. So, here. You see this spot on his comb over here? Uh-huh. Yeah, so I have tried and tried and tried to heal that, and for some reason, he lets Moonbeam pick in his head. And so I put things on it, and he'll go over to her, and he'll stand in front of her, and just let her pick and pick and pick right there. Isn't that terrible? Mm -hmm. So Moonbeam, that's Moonbeam right there, the black one with the white. So when they were chicky babies, I got them and Sunshine was white, or Sunshine was yellow, Moonbeam was black and white, so that's how they got their names. And then all of a sudden, he turned out to be a boy, so I had to change his name to Mr. Sunshine. <laughs> you just have to watch him. Pretty soon he'll realize he can reach my arm and he'll probably try to peck me. But he's pretty naughty. You should check out his fur, too. So, I don't know if you can see that on his foot right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so these guys, I have taken all the tips off the spur, so they're definitely a little bit less uh, dangerous than they used to be. So he actually got his spur caught in my dad's foot one time. <laughs> yeah, through his shoe, and it, the spur came off in my dad's foot. It was very alarming. Couldn't walk for a couple of weeks. But anyway, so this is Josephine, and she is my lap ticket. And she oh. loves being held. So she will come up, and if you sit down, she'll climb up in your lap and lay down, and she's just like a little loaf of bread. And all warm and fluffy and super soft. Very friendly, yeah. So Josie and the rest of the girls are all five and a half years old, and so we got them because we didn't have any kids and we had a dog and we thought, well, it'd be great to add something to the to the farm here and went to a different farm who was raising chickens and picked them all out and, and um, brought them home and I had names for them. Chris said, oh, we can maybe keep one or two of them if you fall in love with them and the rest of them will be neat birds. and. On the drive there, I actually had all of the names picked out, and so I was trying to pick names of uh, like grandmotherly type people, and uh, had a big long list of them, and 
so I fell in love with them the day I got them, and from then on out, they've been the, the ladies of the farm, and they will live here until they are, well, no longer. So they have a nice, safe home. And so this is Dot. And Dot is an Americana, an Easter Egger. And you can see she has really, really fluffy cheeks. And she's a sweet girl. And so you can tell the birds that have the fluffy cheeks like this, uh, also called the Easter Eggers, lay blue eggs. Uh, this one right here, she's my alpha hen. This is my tough girl. Her name is Liney Lou. And she's actually named after Liney Kugels. <laughs> I know, my dad likes beer, so I thought it would be a good idea. So anyway, she's my alpha hen. And she's got those fluffy cheeks too, and she lays olive green eggs. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Always have to stand back when they're flapping. It really hurts. Come here, Come on, Hi, oh, Mr. Sunshine, I don't want you. Nope, you get out of here. <laughs> See? So when they do that, they're just marking you, saying that they own you. So this is Cassiopeia. Um, and one of the things you can do, she's one of my smaller hens. You can see how her little lobes right here are blue. And that tells you that she lays white eggs. She's a very good layer. And it's really interesting because she has a different kind of comb than her sister does. And oh yeah, there she is, Calliope. She's got a nice tall straight comb. Looks way different. Oh Josie. <laughs> Alright, let's see who else we got. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Violet, and Violet is a very lucky hen. She's a very expensive hen. She cost about two dollars to get her as a chicky baby from the from the hatchery where we got her. And uh, on Christmas Day, came home from Christmas dinner and found her um, with blood all over the place. She was coughing blood. Thank you, big boy. Anyway, coughing blood. So we had to call the emergency vet. Took her to the emergency vet, and they had never handled chickens before. And so they did the best that they could and said, no, she's beyond our care. And so I had to take her to another emergency vet who came in on Christmas Day to help us. And after giving her injections in the breast and subcutaneous fluids and she was on medication, she was able to come back from it. So she's, she's an expensive hen, but she's a good girl. Isn't that right, Violet? She's a good sweetie. All right. <laughs> so let's see. Um, that's June Bug over there. You're over there. Aww. Yeah, so she's a doll too. She's been to the vet too. She was actually so sick that my vet told me that there was nothing that we could do. She was laying on her side in the coop and um, I decided I wasn't going to put up with that because she's a beautiful head and I absolutely love her. She's very sweet and she also lays blue eggs. Oh, hey pretty. Cassie's marking ya. <laughs> she's saying she owns ya. Oh, there Whoa. you go. <laughs> See, I told you they were lap chickens. Do you mind if I pass the camera off to you? Yeah, no, that's fine. All right, can I pet her? Yeah, of course you can pet her. She actually likes to get up on shoulders, too. It's kind of funny, she'll fly straight at your behind and then flap climb up to your shoulder. This is Carolina. She's my most beautiful hen, and she is called a blue-laced red Wyandotte, even though it doesn't breed true, so she's got the black on the edging. And so I'm going to lift her up, and you can see she's got a little egg under there, but I'm not going to let her keep it. Come on, Carol. She's like, we get to sleep. Yeah, and that's not even her egg. This is the egg from Liney. So it's kind of an olive green color. Pretty. Here you go, sweetie. And it's really cute to watch. Once you put it back under her, watch her settle down on it. Oh. Yeah. So they're really neat. The hens, they pick out their breast feathers so that their skin is actually up against the egg. Anyway, we'll just leave that in there. Good girl, Carol. And they get very sassy. <laughs> Fluffy. You can hear it. She's not like putting up with this. Anyway, good girl. All right, well, let's head outside and... Oh, yeah. Hooper is taking a dirt bath. Look at her. So the black chicken, or I guess I should say the dirty brown chicken, is my blind hen. And she's five years old, five years old, and she has cataracts in both eyes, so she can't see anything at all. Good girl, Hooper. And then Rosebud, this little girl, has some interesting things on her face. Those are called pinless peepers, and she's actually kind of mean to Hooper. Um... And so she pecks at her blind eyes, unfortunately, but I put those on and it makes it so she can't really peck her. So they can get along together. So this is Rosebud. And she is actually the sister of the broody hen Carolina that's a blue lace red Wyandotte. 
and she, instead of breathing out blue on the tips, it's supposed to be a nice bluey gray color, was a splash. Right, pretty girl? Pretty girl? Can I get in the dirt? Alright, here we go. Oh, <laughs> I got one. I got an oh, there we go. Mr. Sunshine, when he was a little baby chick, he used to, before I knew he was a boy, he was the sweetest thing. He used to come and sit on my shoulder and we'd watch TV together and hang out. He's much sweeter than any of the others, and I think it's because he knew that when he got to be an adult, he was a rooster. Hey, there you go. He might not uh, have such a good ending, so he got me to fall in love with him early on. lots of other naughty things, that's for sure. So he touched me on the nose one time, like he thought I was a, another rooster. He's pooped on my face, he's pooped on my head. <laughs> Definitely bitten me a lot, but through all that, I still love him. In fact, I've taken him in and given him a big bath in the bath bathtub, and I bandaged his foot and put a comfy focus on it before. All sorts of things. <laughs> oh, Josie's marking you. See if you had your other leg up, she'd jump up on you. Watch out for Mr. Sunshine, though. He'll bite your arm from the back. So watch your other arm, your elbow. Just keep it up. Yeah, if you can put your other knee up, I don't know if you can, but you can have two chickens on you. I don't think I can. I, I know. It's too hard with Mr. Sunshine. Get out of here, you. <laughs> Josie is very jealous right now. Now just watch your eyes. Always watch your eyes around chickens. Because if they want to, and watch your elbow. <laughs> Mr. Sunshine. I hope he doesn't peck you. He's such a stinker. <laughs> he can get my foot. There we go. You giving up, Jos? Uh-huh. See what I mean? Chickens are so wonderful and everybody thinks that they're, you know, the chickens aren't very smart and they always tease me about making chicken dinner and everything and really, I mean, how could I eat these girls? They're so friendly and they all have different personalities and different squawks that they do. Even Mr. Sunshine. Yeah, even you, naughty fella. Watch your hand. There you go. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. I know. I know. You get that foot. And people are really mean to roosters sometimes. If they come after them, then they'll kick them and do horrible things to them. But you really can't, or you shouldn't, because they're just doing their job protecting their girls. Cool. Anyway, there you go. All right, I'm going to grab you. It's so hard to grab, isn't it? Kind of <laughs> get them from behind. Yeah, and then you can still reach down and get me. Anyway, so those are the girls in here. And then if you want to see my two special needs chickens and my okay. cat. Isn't that right, my big fella? He could totally bite my arm right now. He may do it. We'll see. Isn't that right, my naughty boy? Yeah. But when you get him away from the ladies, he's super sweet. <laughs> Isn't that right? Hard to believe. Yeah. All right, let's go meet the other girls.